Let's do it. Let's go, baby. Yes. That's some bullshit. You smoke whatever you desire. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Burndown. Today's episode, we're going to talk to you guys about why you should start a podcast. So if you're thinking about starting a podcast, not sure why you should do it or how you should do it, stay tuned. It's The Burndown. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the burn down. As we kindly always say, welcome back all the time. All the time. I'm well, Justin. As you know it, as always, I'm Eric. Like that's ever going to change. And it's never going to change. That's my name. That's your name. Our name is the Burn Down Podcast. If you like this channel, please subscribe to us on YouTube. Give it a like. Give us a little comment on this video. If you listen to us on the podcast, all the podcast platforms, Spotify, Apple, iHeartRadio. iHeartRadio. Wherever. Wherever you can get us. Give us a nice good rating, a comment. Just let it be known so we can help, Like as you say, with the algorithms. With the algorithm. I like when you say algorithms. With the algorithms. Them, so, them rhythms. Yeah, so speaking of that, so we're talking to you guys today about why you should start a podcast. Now, maybe you're yes. thinking about it or you don't know don't know too much about it you are a consumer of it but maybe you're like hmm i want to get my own ideas out there so we came up with the idea of talking about it with you guys and we got some pretty interesting and wild statistics about podcasts yeah it's gonna be good because you know a lot of people ask us they ask us how to start a podcast they ask us you know why we started our podcast so we figure why not talk to you guys about some of the reasons why you should start a podcast you could be sitting there right now watching this you could be listening to this and thinking about maybe doing a podcast you're not really sure why you should do it or how you should do it we're going to give you some statistics we're going to give you some of our reasons some of the things we think of why you should start your podcast yeah. but before we get into that we got to light up a cigar we got to pour ourselves a drink because this wouldn't be the burn down podcast unless we did that yep and you know what i realized we don't have a second angle going doesn't matter we don't need a second angle fuck it we don't need a second angle we only got one angle talking to you guys directly more intimate let's go well we couldn't really do it because you got a important phone call i'm supposed to get a phone call, phone call around here. i was supposed to get a phone call yeah. so let's hope so. it let's hope it let's all hope right it. let's get this going what are we drinking so we are drinking this is a first on the podcast yeah what the heck is that over there this i got from i think a birthday gift not quite sure where or who i forget <laughs> My apologies. This is Long Island, the old timer. Long Island, old old timer. I think it's yeah, Long Island old timer. Uh, moonshine. It's just coffee moonshine. Coffee liqueur. So this is for people that are listening and watching. This is not white lightning. Okay, this is not legit real moonshine. moonshine okay, it's not like ninety percent alcohol. Okay, this is coffee moonshine mm. so this is just a coffee flavor moonshine it is 40 percent alcohol or 80 proof and it smells freaking delicious so we're nice gonna try sniff. that take a nice sniff of rooney oh my God. yeah it smells delicious let me smell, see smell that bad boy so we figured you know we like whiskey mm, we like interesting coffee why don't we try some coffee whiskey or Do coffee it. moonshine? So Pour hopefully that's going to be good with the cigars. Great. And Eric, why don't you um, tell them what you're smoking while I give you a little... Yeah, well, I got a little premature before we were doing a different video. So I started smoking a cigar. But here I have the Caldwell. I think it's called the, the Standard. You know what? I have the Eastern right, Standard. Eastern Standard, right? So let me see right here. Am I... This app that I like to use when I don't know the full name is a cigar scanner. So this is the Coldwell, yeah, Eastern Standard um, cigar. So this is medium strength, wrapper is Ecuadorian Connecticut shade, binders Dominican Republic, filler Dominican and Nicaraguan. So it's going to get a little bit earthy, a little spicy, nice little medium blend cigar. So I started it, which is unusual because usually we wait to do it, but today's a little dirt. A little different circumstance. A little different circumstance. And uh, I'm going to be smoking a Rocky Patel Sun Grown Maduro Lancero. It's a Lancero day. I'm feeling a little Lancero day. Lancero day. You like my Al Borland outfit? Yeah, dude. I feel like I'm on a home improvement right now. You know what? I don't think so, Tim. I don't think so, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> no. I like this outfit. It's got my name on it. It's got my name embroidered on it. 
You got the wrong initials there, Al. You know what, Tim? <laughs> How good is that? Oh, my ash fell. Not on my person, though. All right, let's get these lit up so we can get into this freaking episode, okay? So why you should start a podcast? So before we get into it, what is a podcast, right? Okay, so podcasts... Not every, you know, majority of people know what it is. Yes. And, and honestly, if you're listening to this, you, obviously know. you probably know what it is, okay? But the word podcast, what does it actually mean? You know, and you, you ever think about the word podcast, like you see it, you listen to it, so you're like, all right, so it's just a listening medium. But I wonder where it came from. I don't really know where it comes from, but no, I don't know it's essentially a podcast. Again, we don't have to explain this to you, so we're going to go really briefly on this. But if this is your first time ever watching anything on YouTube or listening to any podcast, you're wondering what it is. Podcast is an audio form of media, of yeah. social media. Where if you have Instagram as a visual form, YouTube is the video form. Podcasts are just an audio form. It's like an e- like an audio book. You yep. just listen to like a talk show. That's all it is. So why should you start a podcast? I'll tell you this. The need for capital... Is a minimum. It's yeah. so cheap oh, and goodness. easy to start up a podcast. You got a cell phone. If you don't want to spend $50 on a mic, you use the cell phone's microphone on it. You got the camera. You basically got a whole podcast right there on your cell phone. Well, you don't even need the camera. You, because yeah, if, you're you doing a, if you're doing yeah. a podcast, it's all audio. Just hit yeah. the, Just swipe over to the search section, type in voice recorder, and boom. You got the... And start recording. Yeah. Done. Exactly. I mean, when we started up, we didn't. I mean, we still haven't spent that much money on podcasts. I mean, we we've got over the years of bought lights, bought stands, bought better microphones, got a mixer and stuff. But when we first started, we just got a cell phone, recorded it. We had the we had the audio on the computer ready. Got microphones for thirty bucks each. And we're good to go. And you can legit. Let's say all. Let's say you don't even have a, a computer. All you have is a cell phone, and you can spend twenty five, thirty, fifty bucks. And get a microphone that is compatible with your cell phone. Yeah. So you can get one of these that plugs in your cell phone, and boom, you got a one of the cheapest microphones that everybody, a lot of people have used. And if you're a podcaster, you know about this is the Blue Yeti. You ever see those Blue Yeti little snowball ones? Mm-hmm. USB microphone. You can plug it in your computer, or you can get the USB adapter and plug it into your cell phone. I mean, our, I think our, Bang. the first microphones we bought were plugged in right into the USB, right? Yeah, USB. Yeah. And then if you want to upgrade, you can get yourself a mixer like we do. You get yourself some of these condenser microphones, XLR cables. You can turn a camera on if you want to do a video podcast. Yeah. There's more you can go into it. But essentially, the startup cost is virtually nothing. It's very minimum. And even if you're an introvert and you want to get your ideas and your thoughts out there, you don't have to press record for the video, you just press record for the audio, and you can get all your ideolo- ide- ideologies, all your ideas, all your thoughts, all your opinions, all over just the voice. Yeah, that's to see what you look like. You don't gotta put your, you don't have to show your face ever. Yeah, never, ever, never, ever, ever, ever. And another great thing about why you should start a podcast is you can do it from anywhere. Yeah. Okay. Not only just any country in the world, because there's thousands and thousands and thousands of podcasts all over the planet but you can do it from anywhere in your own town you don't have to have a studio you can go you can do it laying in your bed you don't even have to get out of bed and not and pretty much 100 percent of people i don't want to say 100 percent. i would say 99 percent of people sleep with their cell phone next to their bed so you can wake up in the morning grab your cell phone hit record and start going you don't have to get out of bed you can tell your thoughts. You know, what I had a dream of last night, and right there, you know, you could be in your boxes, you can be in your underwear, your bra, whatever you wear. There you go. You tell them. There's a podcast, podcast idea for you. Boom. Dream podcast, and you can do every morning record the dream that you had. My and upload thoughts it. and opinions in my underwear. There you go. Right. Boom. Dreams, dreams and underwear. Dreams, dreams and undergarments. There you go. Bro, bro. Dude, there's so many reasons why you should start a podcast, and a lot of people there, whether or not you might be afraid to start it. You might not be comfortable if in front of a microphone or in front of a camera if you're going to do a video podcast or you're not sure how to – just 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 do it. Just hit record. Just hit record and just start saying something. Your first episode is going to suck, okay? Look at ours. It's going to be terrible. All right? Do you think that like you're just naturally comfortable talking on, on a podcast or being in front of a camera? 
Some people are, but most people are not. They they stutter. They're not really sure what they're gonna say. They just fucking start talking. That's just it. Start talking, will ya? I mean, the biggest thing is a procrastination. Um, like we said, if you ever go back to the episode one of the burndown, woofa, you'll see the angle is pointed upright. It's like dark in here. We're not even really using, I think, real microphones. The personality is not there. We're kind of just talking like we're just like, hey, yeah, welcome to the burn down. And this is where it was. I actually watched yeah. it with my. It's cringeworthy. I watched it with my. That's what, that's what Marissa said. She says, please turn it off. It's cringe. It's cringing me. It's cringe. So cringeworthy. <sighs> it is so cringy. Like we had no idea what we were doing. And, and uh, we're truly excited. So hopefully you guys can hear us well. Yeah, this is like in the works, man. We're just kind of... Yeah, we got our makeshift uh, studio here. We just opened the door. It was hilarious. Doesn't matter, but, you know, you're always going to get better. Then you find out, okay, that didn't work or that maybe I can do this better next time. Maybe then you do it again and it's still going to suck, but it's not going to suck as much. And you just keep keep getting better. Just keep putting out the content. Yeah. And what's great, too, is that you can podcast about anything. We just talked about dreams and underwear. Boom. You could literally talk about, you know, dreams in my underwear. And every morning you wake up in your underwear and you talk about your dreams. And there, that could be your podcast. It could be about anything. Dude, you could podcast about literally anything. And more and more people are listening to podcasts. One, because it's an alternative to music. You know how many people have told me, oh, you have a podcast? Oh, I'm going to listen to it because I'm getting tired of listening to music in the car. I'm going to start listening to your podcast now. People like to hear, you know, everything that goes, it's another form of media. You know, I would get a lot of my news and understanding of what's going on around the world from podcasts yeah and because it's coming from a source where it's not being mainstream they don't have a certain agenda you know what i mean they the person doing the podcast is just talking about how they feel what they think is what's going on and it's more intimate it's more real and uh i don't know where i was going but that was uh where was i going with that more, more and more people just listen to podcasts, and more and more people are gathering information from podcasts. The majority of people listen to podcasts to get information. And um, I don't think one of the statistics I know we wrote down, I think today, which is March 2021, there's not even a million podcasts yet mm-hmm. across, the, the, gl- across the, globe. the globe. Across the globe. I'm not even a million podcasts yet. That says a lot. I, I think, think of how many people. There's what, six, seven billion people, people on the planet? So when you have a million out of a billion, that's not even one yeah. percent. I think the statistic was in twenty, uh, yeah, in twenty twenty, there was eight hundred fifty thousand podcasts. Not even a million yet, and it's still growing exponentially. I mean, the that's not even that's if you think about that one million podcasts, <clears throat> okay, and think about okay, now maybe you can have like this podcast is two people for one podcast, but let's just say a million podcasts, and there's one person that does every podcast. That's a million people that podcast. Let's just, for for sake, argument's sake. There's 7 billion people on the planet, okay? So 1 million out of 7 is... Dude, one, 1 million out of a billion is, is 0.1%. Okay? So now divide 0.1 <clears throat> by 7. So you're honestly, that's it's less than point... It's like 0.01% mm-hmm. of people do podcasts on the planet. Think about that. It's not even not even a, grain of a sand tenth of a percent. It's less than one tenth of one percent. There's it's so whenever we go, oh, it's so saturated. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's really not. Especially not even close. when you find out the, all the ad revenue that's coming into podcasts. Not even close. So let's talk about that because you started with the statistics. Statistics. You ever see uh, Dick and Jane? I I don't know where you're getting your statistics from. <laughs> Drop the clip. You're getting your statistics. Um. Let's talk about the statistics because you kind of slowly walk, worked us in there. Segway, segway, segway. One of the statistics is podcasts are very lucrative. And we're going to bring up this statistic for you to show just how much money you can make on podcasts. Come on. Come on. Let's hear it. We got the notes. So <clears throat> the revenue from podcasts alone, will be podcast advertising is majority of where the revenue comes from. Okay? You tell them the 2020 number. I'll tell them the eight. The, I remember the 2018 number. I remember in 2018, right? So tell me what 2018. How much? How much yes. money was made from revenue from podcasting in 2018? Yeah. Three years ago. Three years ago, February of 2018, podcast revenue was in between 450 million dollars. 450 million dollars was made from podcast advertising yep. or podcast revenue in general. Exactly. Now tell them what it is today. 
In 2021, it's estimated to surpass one billion dollars. That's what a B. one billion dollars. That is what a B B as in boy. One billion surpass one billion dollars in advertisement revenue, advertisement revenue. Think about that. That is a lot of humbo jumbo. So Why podcasts are, we, are a billion dollar industry. I mean, we, we need to get a piece of that. Billion get, dollars. We need to get so, a piece of that one so bill. So just think about it. So wherever you are. Just start it. You want a reason to start it? You can make some money, and you can have fun doing it. And you don't even have to have a following. I know a lot of the ho- uh, the hosting sites for podcasts will pay you to promote their hosting site. I know someone who just started a podcast, had their first ad- uh, first episode, no following, and they already had an advertisement on their first episode talking about the particular hosting service that's doing their podcast. And oh, yeah. Because how you have a podcast is that there's a hosting service, which is a server that hosts your podcast via the internet, and that's where yeah. It's, so you don't have to going. have your computer on twenty four seven. Exactly. Right, and that's a little that's detailed in it, but you can search up, you know, basically record, and then you can upload your your audio to a, a host, and then yeah. they can share it to everybody. But we have a lot of fun statistics. Yeah. So like. so another statistic we're going to talk about is the we're going to talk about like another reason. Well, okay, let me back back step here. I'm trying to. Perfect. I have. I'm trying to. I got it can't come out fast enough. Um, so why you should start a podcast is purely on the number of people that actually listen to podcasts. This shows that people are actually listening to podcasts. They know what podcasts are. They listen to them on a regular basis. And we're going to tell you the numbers, just how many people are doing that. Yeah. And this is just the United States numbers. All right. This, these numbers right here are just the United States. 75% of the population is familiar with podcasts. So they know what a podcast is. Seventy-five percent. There's about three hundred sixty million people in the world uh, in the country. Yeah, so seventy-five percent is about roughly two hundred fifty million people. So two hundred fifty million people in the United States know what a podcast is. Not necessarily listen to, it, but they know what it is. Now, of those uh, of the population, fifty-five percent actually listen to podcasts. They admit to listening to a podcast. Yep. So that's about one hundred eighty people. And go one step further. Tell them how many people actually listen on a regular basis. This is a weekly basis. The number of people that listen to podcasts. In the, amount, in the country of the United States of America, 25% of people listen to a podcast weekly, which is roughly 80 million people. 80 million people listen on a weekly basis. That and is. there's not even a million. Po- and that's in America. How many podcasts are actually in America? What was the number? We said 800,000 podca- 800, podcasts in the world. Yeah. What was it roughly? 300,000, uh, 500,000, something like that in America? Let me see. Do we have that? Do we I don't, have- I'm not sure if we have that. I think you had it on your phone. Oh. Um, yeah, let me see here. But think about that first before I look it up. That's 160 million pairs of or ears, not pairs of ears. Yeah, 160 that's, million. That's- 160 million ears. <laughs> that's 80 million pairs of ears. Um, but think about how many 80 million people listen on a weekly basis, which means they will subscribe or have subscribed to a show because they listen to it on a weekly basis. They listen to either the same one or multiple over and over and over again, recurring Mm -hmm. 80 million people. That's a lot, man. It's crazy. Think about that. If you just, if you release a podcast and tap in to just half of a percent of that, of that. Let's half of a percent. By the way, I don't. I don't have this. I think it's, it's okay. 850,000 in the whole world. That's okay, so it doesn't even matter. So, if you if there's eighty million people that listen on a weekly basis in the United States, and you start a podcast, and you touch maybe, let's say, a tenth of a percent, point one percent. Okay, one percent of eighty million is eight hundred thousand people. If you do one, take that, divide that by ten. That's eighty thousand people. If you start a podcast and you just reach, of that 80 million, you reach 0.1%. 0.1% of all the people that listen on a weekly basis is 80,000 people. If you have a podcast that reaches 80,000 people, you have an extremely successful podcast. That's a pretty damn good podcast. That's a really good podcast. That's a damn good. That's 0.1% of the people that listen on a weekly basis. We're getting there. Dude, 80,000 people. 80,000. Think about go to Instagram and find an account that's got 80, 80K followers. That's a damn good account. Go to YouTube. Find a YouTube channel that's got 80,000 subscribers. That's a damn good YouTube channel. I mean, it's so new. Podcasts are still... I remember talking about this with the Hot Ticket Podcast, with the brothers from the Hot Ticket Podcast. And, you know, podcasting is is on the rise still, and it's, it's not even where it needs to be at the... Uh, my favorite One of my favorite words to use advantageous no no no. it's not even at the zenith zenith 
of its focal point yet. You know, it's still on the rise. Like I said, there's not even a million podcasts yet in the world. We'll talk about the rise statistics we have. We have a statistic there about the growth from 2014 till now. Yeah, let's see here. Talk about it. Talk about it. Be about it. Which one? Um, nope. On right, the bottom. Uh, very bottom. bottom of that. Oh, yeah. So, so yeah. So, this statistic. So, the rise of smartphones, right? When did smartphones really become really that popular? Only about... Yeah, like 2010, maybe 20... About little, 10 years ago, right? Yeah, 10 years ago, let's say. So, since the start of uh, cell phones the amount of podcasts that are consumed on a smart device either a cell phone or a smartphone or a smart device like a tablet people have consumed oh let me let me, let me bring, bring this back 156 <laughs> percent since 2014 increase increase of listening of a podcast from your tablet ipad smartphone so think about that 150 percent increase in just three years which means like Eric was saying, the no, growth. No, no, no. Not three years. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Not Seven three years. I'm sorry. Seven years. So, so what's, to Eric's point is the growth of people listening to podcasts, and this is just on smart devices, whether a smartphone or a tablet, oh, yeah. is on the rise. So if there's any a time to start a podcast, now's the time. The time They is always now. talk about find the wave and ride it. Ride the wave. The wave is here. And most people <laughs> listen to podcasts. I think the statistic is about half of people that listen to podcasts are home. They listen to it. In their home. In the comfort of their own home. And they they listen to it while they want to relax after they had a hectic day. Um, or they just want to feel comfortable and just take a chill pill in their backyard or on their couch. Take, and a, just pill, listen. take a chill pill. But the other statistic was, I think, 50% of homes in the United States listen to podcasts. So I don't know how many homeowners there are in the country. But you can best believe there's a lot. Half of Everybody them. that. Say there is, what do you, what do you want to call it? Two million? No, probably more than that. How, I don't know what your what number. How many homeowners do you think are in this country? Take a guess. Fif- oh, I, I, don't, I don't know. 600, 360 million people. Say a third. I don't really know. Yeah, say a third. So 100, 100, say 100 million homeowners. 100 million homeowners in this country. So 50 million people in the United States listen to podcasts. That's a good number. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like we even said it too. 80, 80 million listen on a weekly basis. Yeah. And that's just that's just the percentage of the population, right? About 25% of the population listens on a weekly basis, which is 80 million. So just take that statistics. If there's any statistics that you want to take from this episode of all the ones that we told you about, that's the one. The number of people that listen to podcasts in the United States on a weekly basis is roughly 25% of the population. 80 million people. Okay? That's a lot of ears listening to podcasts. Oh, yeah. So go out Make a podcast, start your podcast, whatever the topic is, you can do it from your comfort of your home and your freaking underwear in your bed with your iPhone or your Samsung device and just hit record. Just do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it now. If in case those for people who don't know, it's my neck, my I, back. Oh, oh, oh. My, Whoa! My, this is, we gotta keep this PG here for the people, right? Bro, we say fuck every two seconds. Yeah, but we ain't gonna say the other stuff. Come on now. <laughs> Bruh! Your face was priceless. Bruh. Hey man, people know a song. I ain't saying nothing new, bro. Excuse me? <laughs> I don't even know. My virgin ears. Are you flabber- you said that. Are you flabbergasted right now? I'm flabbergasted. Anyway, start a podcast. Do it. Why should you start a podcast? If you haven't figured out that you should start one and why you should start one by now, then you're never going to figure it out, okay? <laughs> you're never going to figure it you're out. You're never going to figure it out. It just, it's, there's so many reasons. It's, it's a wave. It's growing. So many people listen to it. You can do it from anywhere in, your, anywhere in the world. You can do it from anywhere in your home. You don't have to leave your home. You don't even need a freaking microphone. You can make microphone. money doing it. You can make money doing it. You can talk about anything. And he doesn't have Podcasts. To do, it. do it. Hashtag podcast. Hashtag do it. Hashtag do it. We haven't drank yet, so cheers I to know. that. Cheers to that. I have a headache again. What the F? I think that's a short episode. We're going to keep going. Well, what else are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about how we started. Oh, you want to talk about how we started the podcast? I mean, first, we for the people who are just starting to listen and starting to watch our story behind getting a podcast. 
Okay, now we're going to go with a whole other segment. All right, hold on a second. I gotta get prepared. Yeah, ready for this. I got to get prepared for this one. Hold on. No, it doesn't have to be too long, but I mean, the way we came across a podcast, it hasn't even been a, two years yet. It feels like a long time, bro. We're not even April, May, June. Two years. July will be two years. A year and a half right now. We still have four months to go before it's two years. So it's a year, a year and eight months. Almost like, yeah, it's over a year and a half. It feels way longer than that. Isn't that crazy? We haven't even gotten started yet. Nah, son, nah. We have. So how do we start? We started, go back to the first episode and watch that episode. Yeah. There's no lights. There was no microphones. There was a cell phone. And we started a video podcast. Not even a regular podcast. We started a video podcast. And that was inspired because uh, I would watch video podcasts on YouTube. My brothers got me into it. I watch. I would watch all different kinds of comedians do their do their podcasts. Um, like Chris D'Elia, my brother's love. He's a huge one. He's actually just coming back from all the stuff that he that he just went through. Joe Rogan, obviously. Joe Rogan's a good one. Tom Segura, Bob uh, Bert Kreischer, Joey Diaz, I mean, Andy Frisella. Andy Frisella. He doesn't really have a video though. He's more audio. No, he's he, he, he has I, clips. He, he has, has clips. clips. Yeah, he has clips. But it's not like you can watch audio. But Andy Frisella, I listen to his podcast in the time in the gym all the time. I don't know if you listen to oh, the work out. He, you want to get fired up? Like you want somebody to basically. No excuses, like, fuck you, do it. Listen to him. Yeah. He, Listen to him, man. He takes no shit. He don't give a shit what your excuse is. He's Because he's been through it all. Dude, motherfucker got stabbed in the face. Motherfucker got stabbed. Stabbed in the fucking face. Okay. <laughs> Think about that. Think about that. He he said that he made, over a course of 10 years, like $58,000. Mm-hmm. And the first three years, he made no money. Yeah, so that's... Uh, fifty eight hundred dollars a year. Yeah. So he said he made the first ten years of business. He made no money in the first three years, and then about six hundred dollars a month for the next seven years. And now he has an empire. And he was sleeping on a cot in the back of his store. And he said, "I just didn't care what people thought about me, what they said. What are you doing? You can't do this." And he said, "I don't get. I just knew I was what I was supposed to do." But anyways, inspiring Andy Frisella. Dude, but yeah, we. I mean, most people listen to. A podcast when they want to relax, when they're either coming home from work in traffic or they want to relax at home, um, wind down. And we thought it'd be a good idea to do that with cigars. I mean, when you're smoking a cigar, you're relaxing. You're taking the, you're taking time out to be with oneself or be with others. Talk about good things, think about good things, put things out in the future. And um, we just thought. Cigar subscription service isn't going to work when we first tried it. Magazine's not going to work. Hey, we're pretty charismatic. We're pretty good with with the camera. We have good pictures on Instagram. We know a lot about cigars. We're kind of personable. We are personable. And we're some funny, good-looking dudes. Yeah. So, we're like, why don't we just we do this on a regular basis anyway? We get together. We smoke cigars. Let's just film it. Yeah. But while you were talking, there's another thing or a reason why I thought pod, you should start a podcast is... You can use it just like we use cigars as a a way to recharge our own batteries, to collect your mental thoughts. You can either reflect on the past or visualize the future. You can kind of bring yourself back to neutral. A reason you could start a podcast is you you might have frustrations that you just want to get out, right? You just want to yell them out. You want to scream them out. You might have things that happen and you just want to – you got to talk to somebody, Right, and you don't want to take it out on your significant other. You don't want to take it out on your yeah. kids, or your family. Take it out on the microphone. Click the record button and just vent into the microphone. You know how many podcasts are out there that people just listen and they they agree with you because your feelings. You're saying something. Something could have happened to you that day, and you're like, "Man, this sucks." Blah 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 blah. blah. Somebody relate. out there is gonna yeah relate to it exactly. So it could be a way to release all your emotions. I'll tell you this right now. I've had a hectic week. I still got a headache. I, you know. Beside my nine to five sales job, and I do real estate, and obviously I do the podcast. Everything was coming at me at once during the week, and my head was Excuse spinning. Me. I couldn't. Although, remember you see me on earlier this week? You're like, bro, you look like a bag of dicks. You literally look like a bag of you shit. Need, you need you need a cup of coffee. You need to recharge. I'm like, I know, I got all this stuff going on. So, I'm here now, smoking a cigar. I'm I'm back to my normal self. I I'm able to regain my thoughts, prioritize, and be like, you know what? Everything's okay. I can still do everything I need to do. Oh yeah. It's I look forward to this. Like 
Whenever we're oh, we're filming, I get hyped. I look forward to doing this People, because it's so relaxing. I enjoy doing it. I enjoy hanging out with it's you a and passion. talking. It's just it's so much fun to do it, and you get to meet so many people like that listen to us, that subscribe to us on YouTube, that follow us on the Instagram. We get to meet so many people, and we have the video portion of it. You don't even have to have the video portion of it, but you can have guests on your show, and you get to meet all these people and hear these incredible stories from all walks of life. Yeah. It's a beautiful way to connect with people. Dude, as I said in one of the interviews, I forgot who it was, either all things cigars or taste the drum. I said cigars are were our passion, but now podcasting is our passion as well. I mean Podcast we, passion, baby. Yo, know, PP. The PP. Yo, know, CPP. Cigar, so you, cigar podcast passion. You like that PP, son? You know, I like that CPP. You like the CPP? Yeah. But you down with the CPP? Yeah, son. You know me. You know me. Imagine if people saw the conversations that we would have when we call each other and when no. we're with each other. No, can't. That's that's private. That's private stuff right there. You that, can't let the people see that. But people can't see that until we until we blow up. No, you can't even see that until we're blown up. Until until blow up and glow up, baby. Yeah, the blow up, glow up. You can't see that. I mean, the conver- the stuff that we say to each other. Hilarious. Well, that's that's we keep that. Keep that on. Oh yeah, yeah. Keep that oh, on yeah? the DL. Oh yeah. Okay. Keep that on the DL. Cut. You keep it on DL cut. Anyway, but yeah, this is why you should start a podcast. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's why. why you should start a podcast. That is why. That is why you should start a podcast. Do you see how much fun we're having? Yeah. And I don't know if you can listen and hear the amount of fun that we're having, but podcasting is so much fun. Throwing cigars? It's I mean, so much fun. Cigars, whiskey, bourbon, coffee, beer, wine, whatever, tequila. Do it all. Do it all, baby. By the way, this coffee moonshine is fucking delicious. It's not bad. It's Definitely pretty good. Not bad. It's going very well with the cigar. You know what? I got one of the best cigar- I got one of the best text messages right now. From Uh-oh. my from my well actually I just got two great text messages just just in the last two minutes. First, my fiance, she said, Bring cigars for the boys tonight. Done. <laughs> Dude, I don't even, nothing's gonna top that. Right? No, maybe this one. Then my brother texted me. Podcast is cracking me up. That's why you should start a podcast. <laughs> Come on now. Come on, son. Those are two good text messages. I, I just it. got as we're filming this. So I love it. That is why you should start a podcast. If you guys have any questions, you can either shoot us a comment on YouTube or shoot us a DM on Instagram at the Burn Down Podcast. Uh, shoot us an email, burndown.mail at gmail.com. Or uh, Dapper Cigar, Brother Cigar. You can either DM both of us or either of us. Um, we'll be happy to help you. We, have, we help people all the time. People always ask us about the microphone, you know, mixers, how do you do video, how do you do lighting, and you know, we're always here to help. Um, so we hope that this video and this podcast on the audio was uh, informative and helpful. We certainly like doing this. We should do more of this stuff. It was fun. Um, so until then, I don't know if I missed anything. Like this video. Oh, yeah, there you go. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell to be notified whenever we drop new videos. We have an episode every single Friday. If you're listening on the podcast platform, whatever podcast platform you're on, please give us the highest rating possible. Please subscribe to the podcast. Like I said, we drop a new episode every single Friday. But thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this. We hope you learned something. Uh, we certainly enjoyed doing this. And that's why you should start a podcast. This is The Burn Down. We're out. Boom. Let's go. Al Borland out. <laughs>